Okay, we're now going to add some textures to our uh, our surfaces. At the moment, if we go render, uh, if we render the image, it's going to take around about three seconds, so three point oh seven seconds, and it's going to give me a shiny surface with a monkey on it in front of sort of a, a fairly dark wall. Um, so let's actually see if we can do something to the wall and the surface. We'll leave these guys here, the the, the brick which is sort of off the surface there and the circle and the monkey we'll leave them as is at the moment but we'll actually change this surface down here so I'm going to right click on here so that we've got selected the floor and we're going to click into this little um, sort of it's sort of like a checkerboard effect here and we're going to click on straight away new and it's going to create a new texture and we're going to choose for our texture we're going to choose an image or a movie and yes you can project a movie onto it at the moment it's got nothing in it so we're going to select a new file and I have in finder here a textures folder and in my textures I've got brick and pine so let's go back to here I'm going to open and go into my pictures into textures and I'm going to download or put in my pine picture very small picture click on open image and you can see there that that's what it's going to look like you don't see it in this view you've got to render it to see it actually happen and there it is a pine board floor that's quite uh, quite good and now we're going to go into uh, back into our 3d view and because these two are the same material we just need to add a new one to this one and we're going to make this a brick wall so we're going to choose down here in here sorry uh, texture is going to be uh, an image or a movie and we're going to choose from this open file here go into pictures, go into textures go into brick jpeg and click on open image and then we're going to render this and see nicely there that's actually added time by the way to the render it was at three seconds it's now almost out at five and you can see that the the reflection includes the picture so the picture actually reflects in it really acts uh, pretty much like true life the final thing we're going to do is add a bit of transparency to this this is really going to slow the, the render down so I'm going to make the ring into sort of like a glass ring uh, so let's just click onto this button here first thing we're going to do to make it glassy is to put a bit of uh, a mirror effect on it and turn the reflectivity up to about three so it's actually got a bit of reflection on it see there the next thing we're going to do is we're going to check on transparency here I'm going to turn the alpha down a fair way so that it's like a red tinted glass effect. If we play with the Fresnel, the more we play with it, the, the higher it goes, the more sort of glassy it appears. You don't want it to be completely blanked out, but there you go, that's quite nice. You can see the effect up here happening. So I've got, you know, a 0.47 and a 0.2 there. Now let's see what I've done to the render. If I render the image, you can see there they've got a highly reflective, transparent uh, sort of thing there. It doesn't look as good as I thought it would, so I'll probably back those two things out. So I'm going to go back to view, 3D view, uncheck that, uncheck that. Let's do it to the box instead. Check the transparency, turn the uh, alpha down to about half. Turn the Fresnel to about uh, 1. See what we have there. It's actually a cube, so we're going to see what it looks like as a cube. And uh, let's see what that does. We'll actually put a bit of mirror on it as well. So that if we render that, we now have a glass cube. Which has a reflected monkey in it, and you can see through it. That looks pretty cool. So I've got a glass cube, a monkey, and a ring there, looking quite nice, uh, and that's 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 pretty good. It's now taking 10 seconds per frame to render, so we need to make sure that we're not rendering out entire movies at this point. Um, so basically, um, that is what we're doing so far in terms of this. In the next uh, video, we're just going to look at. Um, putting a bit of an animation in.